Hello, this is Carl Bertolet. I will show you how to use a Navasia Evolution device very quickly and the different mode of action. First, on the side, you see you have the on-off switch, so you just need to turn it on. By default, you'll get a one beep, and the first mode, 7 to 12 Hz, will be light up. And this first mode is called Alpha. This is the mode that we use the, the most for relaxation and to induce sleep. Usually, we will use the main probe and we will brush the skin on the forehead or on the temple. Of course, you will need to adjust the power level to get a comfortable tingling sensation. The second mode is called 3245. It's gamma mode. This is for memory and concentration. Same principle, you will use it on your forehead, on your temp, or if you have the ear clip, you can simply use ear clip on an uh, ear lobe on each side of the left and right uh, ears and you'll be able to use the first two modes for sleep or for concentration and memory. The third mode is called 60 Hz relaxation and it's the biofeedback mode. This is very good for muscle relaxation and we will use that mode on the end to make what we call a dose. I will come back to that later. 77 Hz is the mode that we use for scar tissue and for the skin on the face. If you want to do um, skin treatment, that's the mode that we use the most. 121 Hertz. The first four mode is really for relaxation, sleep, memory, concentration, and relaxation. And the four last mode is for pain management. So 121 Hertz, it's what we call the modulation mode. So the device will send this signal through the main probe for three seconds and stop for one second. So usually we'll use that mode uh, at the fixed position without moving the device. 350 Hertz is the mode that we use for acute pain. If you have a pain 8 out of 10 uh, pain level, for example, that's the mode that you'll use to start for acute pain. RSI is the repetitive stress injury mode. So if you do repetitive movement, that's the mode that you will use one of the most. And the last one is called blue stimulation. That's the mode that uh, have a variable uh, frequency setting. So this device mode will change from roughly 20 Hertz to 160 Hertz. So it, will be, it will do like a swipe of frequency and this will go deeper into the tissue. So that's really the eighth mode of action of the device. Next, we'll see how to use it. So once it's open, the main probe, it's in the back and on the side, you get an accessory port to plug wire as well. If you plug a wire through that hole, this main probe is deactivated. It will not work anymore. You need to, it's either one or the other. So if you have, for example, a pain issue, first we'll go to 350. Let's assume that the, the pain, um, my wrist, it's, it's in pain, for example. So I will use the device I'll put on my skin. I'll increase the power level up to a comfortable tingling sensation. I can hold it or I can just do one, one, one as you wish. And then you'll need to brush the skin where the pain is. And if the pain is located to a very small point, I will recommend to go a bit larger and you need to brush the skin in all four directions. So I can do it, for example, up and down, and then I'll do left, right. I can do little circle as well. As you can see, when I move, I want that my skin move a little bit. So it's not too intense, but it's not just like to flatter the skin. This is not enough. You really need to get a good skin contact between the device and your skin. If you know, there's a little angle into the device. So it's really important that you, when you put the device on your skin, sometimes you need to lift the back of the device a bit to get a very good skin contact. Then you need to brush the region of pain for roughly five minutes. So let's assume that you had a uh, eight out of 10 pain level on your wrist and you had brush it for, let's say two, four, five minutes. Then you need to stop. You need to reassess your pain level. And for example, it's down to four. Then you can keep going for another two, three minutes. And by default, the device every two minutes, it will do beep beep, which means it's two minutes as occurs since we start the device. So after, for example, seven or eight minutes, your pain is down to one. You can change mode as well, because when we change mode, what it will do, it, the device will send a different signal to your skin and your brain will send new neurotransmitter, endorphin, uh, serotonin, and neuropeptide to your the area of pain to increase the effectiveness of the treatment. 
So you can use the last four mode for pain management as you wish. You can do two minutes of one, five minutes of the other one, or one session you decide to do only 350 for let's say five to 10 minutes. And your goal is to get your pain down to zero. That's really the goal. So if you brush your skin at 350 for let's say five minutes and the pain doesn't move, it's, it was at eight and you still at eight after five minutes, change mode because you need to, to, to find the mode that will best suit your body. So for example, if 350 was not effective to release the pain, go to RSI. If you go down the path here for the last four, uh, RSI is really the strongest one then you can restart to brush your skin with that mode once you change mode you need to reassess the power level so if it's too strong you can decrease if you don't feel it anymore you need to increase so you really need to adjust on each frequency to get a very good tingling sensation and then you need to brush two to five minutes then you reassess your pain and the goal is to get it down to zero once you reach zero, you'll need to finish the, the treatment. You have two options. Option one will be to use 60 Hertz to make what we call the dose to kind of complete the session. Or you can also use RS, oops, sorry, RSI, <laughs> twice. RSI will do the biofeedback dose as well. So it's up to you. If you have a lot of pain, you can use RSI to complete your session or you can use the 60 hertz relaxation and how do we finish the the session let's assume that the problem was here and now it, it was eight and it's down to one out of ten for example you ju just need to to put the device on one on that spot and don't move the importance it's not moving the device at all and then if this happened all the light blinks don't move you really need to wait until the blue light at the bottom blink. How long it will take? No clue. It may take 20, 20 seconds. It may take three minutes. That's the device is sending signal to your tissue. And once you get, you see the blue light, then you can release. That's what we call a dose. So you can do one dose or you can do, let's say, two or three dose. So I will put it back on the point of pain. The device is sending a signal, the brain is responding, the device calculate, changes signal, send back a new signal to the brain, then the brain will receive the, the signal, changes, is a release of uh, endorphin or peptide, and once you get the blue light, then you can release. So that's how to do a quick session with the Avasia Evolution device. So in summary, you open it on the side, you can choose the mode of action that you want to do, the first four is for relaxation, sleep, memory. The last four is for pain management. You can, for pain management, for example, use 120 hertz. You can put the device on your skin. You need to adjust the power level. You can do three movements. You can do what we call brushing and all four directions. That's one movement, one option. The other option is to simply put the device on one spot and let it work. That's the option number two. The option number three, if it, it's an, an articulation, you can put the device in one spot and then you can move, for example, the wrist on like that. So the device will work as well. So that's the principle to use 121. 350, I prefer that you move the device because if you stay in one spot for, let's say, two, three minutes, this will be a bit irritating. RSI, same principle, you can brush and RSI, you can do what we call the dose. So to do the dose, you really need to lift the device from the skin. It will kind of do a reset. And then when you put the device on one spot, the device is start to do his dosing. And last one, it's called blue stimulation. This one will do a variation of the frequency. This is very good to work in and deeper into the tissue, and this will help you to release pain as well. So that's really how to use the four different modes for pain management. And if you need to plug accessories, it will be on the side here. The wire will go down the, the, the device and you can plug different accessories. One of the most useful that we have is what we call the Y probe. Since this is two round uh, ball at the hand, this will be very easy to to do movement, everything which is rounded, like a wrist, a elbow. The shoulder is very useful also.
you can have what we call the uh, pencil probe which is a very small probe to end you can use that on your hand on your um, ear earlobes as well you can use it for facial uh, treatment and finally the uh, facial probe it's a smaller version of the main probe if you want and that's what we use for skin treatment as well or if you want to do some reflexology on your hand so that's really what i want to show you with the avasia evolution device if you have more questions please call me thank you very much